Hello guys, Crisp here and welcome back to another video. Today my friends I'm gonna be testing the GeForce GTX 750 Ti, this beautiful legendary card from 2014 that so many of you love. Look at that holographic sticker there, it will give us like 10 more FPS and uh, well this is actually a point of view model and you might have actually never heard of point of view. It's a company or it was a company, they declared bank bankruptcy in 2016 and they stopped making graphics cards ever since so um, I don't know what that tells you <laughs> this one never had a problem in my hands at least well it kind of does but I already bought it like that the VGA and DVI ports on it don't really work maybe that's due to not very good quality maybe that's just bad luck I don't know this is a very basic model of the card as you can see basic cooler there just a single fan on it doesn't even require a six pin power connector so it's a very low powered card of course 60 watts and unlike every other 700 series graphics cards from Nvidia this one is from the Maxwell architecture so its architecture is the same as the 900 series I could talk about this little GPU for hours but let's just install this in the system and test some games on it shall we and here we go my friends we're now in the desktop the GPU is showing up there in MSI Afterburner GTX 750 Ti as well as GPU Z you can see that it's the two gigabyte model right there and as this is a stock version of the card I actually pushed the overclocks right here plus 150 megahertz on the core clock and plus 300 megahertz on the memory clock these might seem a little bit too high for you if you have an OC model factory over overclocked model of the 750 Ti but for this one it's it's not really that big of a deal it runs at 1326 megahertz anyways we're running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM let's get into our first game Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War I'm also going to be testing Warzone in this video for those of you that prefer that game to this one and I'm playing it at 720p 100% resolution scale everything is set to the lowest settings as you can see right Right here except for the last one this one right here because uh, it actually improves your FPS by a little bit so I'll leave that on high oh wow look at those frames guys right around 69 amazing <laughs> All right, let's start counting those sweet frames per second. I was not expecting it to get 60 plus here at this resolution. This is amazing, very nice. Uh, if only I didn't die too much in this game, that would be great. 1% lows, every time you die, they they'll get down. So just don't go by that metric. There's always a stutter when you die in this game. It sucks, I know, but... Ah. <laughs> Yeah, one finally, Jesus, all right, all right, oh, that guy's friendly, there's another one there, come on, can I get him, nice, oh, hello there, buddy, how are you doing, okay, okay, oh, all right, we got another one, that's good, oh, come on, oh, boy, what the hell, he was already full health there, I know there's a guy right here, yep, there we go, and there we go, another one, okay, I never played this well, my friends. Uh oh, napalm strike incoming, I don't like that, oh, what the hell were you doing there? What? How did that get me? And we got 73 FPS on average and 51% lows. That is amazing performance. Time for a lighter game that's actually very adequate for a card like this one. We're playing CSGO now, 1080p resolution, using the low settings with high textures. I guess this is like a competitive title, so you'll probably want to play on low. Okay, my friends, here we go. Let's start counting those frames. Of course, uh, CSGO is no problem for the GTX 750 Ti this GPU is uh, perfectly capable of playing this game it's all you need basically if you want to play this especially at lower resolutions um, depending on your CPU you might actually see lower FPS because it's possible to bottleneck a 750 Ti in CSGO these days for example a GTX 580 can't really run this game like flawlessly like we're seeing now with the GTX 5 750 Ti, goddammit, because that's old and uh, with the recent updates they actually broke the game on those older cards, which is very, very unfortunate, like, imagine you, you're running this game absolutely fine with a GTX 580 and then uh, the next day 
it's a stuttery mess because that's exactly what happened in this one. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm not playing very well today here in CSGO, which is very unfortunate. I usually play better, I think, but I think it's because of Call of Duty. Call of Duty is making me a worse CSGO player. Oh my god, look at that. Why? Why am I not hitting those shots? Now, you gotta keep in mind that if you are playing this game competitively, you're probably gonna see some smokes here and there, and that will drop your FPS. All right, there we go. Oh boy, oh boy, there's another one. Uh, what the hell? How was that a headshot? My internet sucks today. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. No internet, come on! Oh, come on, man, the internet! No! <laughs> he killed another one in the last second! Red Dead Redemption 2. Very demanding game, very beautiful as well, but not at these settings. We're playing at 720p using the lowest settings. I made sure to turn everything down here because I was kind of expecting it to perform pretty badly, but I've already seen like 10 seconds of gameplay and it it's it's good like it's getting 40 fps 40 plus basically at least right now but we're gonna go to valentine yeah the game at low settings it doesn't really look that good especially the textures you might want to increase that in the config files because the game doesn't allow you to change that setting so that's a little bit of a bummer there but it's running the game absolutely fine and the good thing is this is not a cpu intensive title so uh, something like an i5-2400 will do absolutely fine and will deliver you exactly the same FPS that we're seeing right now. Easy bar, easy bar. No, <laughs> Arthur is the other way, <laughs> okay. <laughs> With 40 something FPS on average, I think you can still increase a couple of settings here and there, make it look better. Okay, this street is always a little bit demanding here in my benchmark run and it's still in the 40s, guys. This is amazing. I did not expect this, that's why I set everything to low, but wow. 750Ti is already surpassing my expectations in this video. Okay, here comes one of the big nemesis of the 750Ti. This is Watch Dogs Legion, a game made by our lovely Ubisoft that knows exactly how to optimize games properly. <clears throat> We're playing this one at 1280 by 720 resolution, 70 FOV, everything is set to the lowest settings. Yes, high is the lowest there, by the way. I got some comment the other day saying that it wasn't lowest settings. All right, friends, this is it. As we are playing in DirectX 11, the FPS don't drop near waters, so that is okay. Um, it's it's actually, again, surpassing my expectations by a lot. What the hell? 40 frames? Are you kidding me? We got some cops after us right now. We got a couple of stutters there. This game stutters in DX11. It's smooth in DX12, but it drops the FPS massively near water in DX12. So I prefer to keep it in DX11 with these older cards. Um, look at that, guys. What the hell are these frames? This is incredible! I did not expect this! The 1030 did a very bad job in this game. Yet the 750Ti is doing a fantastic one considering its age. Now granted it's not a very good experience because it's 720p and it stutters, but this is just... The 750Ti cannot be killed. I think Ubisoft might have optimized this game for the 750Ti and nothing else. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> this is this is insane. Oh, oh, God damn it. The DX11 does that to the graph there sometimes. I didn't expect to say this because I even told you that this game was the nemesis of this GPU, but it's not. Like, wow. All right, time for GTA 5, one of the most popular games out there. That's why I'm testing it. 1080p resolution using basically the high settings. Some things are on very high, some things are on normal, some things are like disabled, like the MSA anti-aliasing. Yeah, uh, advanced graphics are of course all turned off. There we go. And uh, let's see, okay, we're getting 60s, that is pretty damn good, like, GTA 5 is of course an old title, but it still looks really good, and it's really 
well optimized. It shows. You can get really nice FPS with a 750 Ti in this game. You just gotta have a decent CPU to go with it. Like an i5-4460 with dual channel RAM should get you these FPS that we're seeing right now. Oh boy. Now I had to turn down a few settings because of the VRAM limitation. We got 2 gigabytes of VRAM and if you want to play this game with high textures you will have to turn down the population variety and the shadow effect. And, ah, okay. Oh boy, don't close your eyes while driving. <laughs> get out people, get out people. Okay, we're good. I think my tire is kind of broken. Yep. This is just wonderful. Every time I play this game, it's just amazing how well optimized it is. Okay. Here. Whoa! It happened again. God damn it. We gotta replay the entire thing. All right, start counting the frames again, guys. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Okay, we're back here again. Hopefully it doesn't explode now. There we go. It's all good now, friends. It's all good. Let's visit Jack. This right here is the most demanding area in my benchmark run. The grass is really demanding in GTA 5. As you can see, it drops from 16 to the 40s. Not really that big of a deal if you drop the uh, grass quality to like medium or normal. It will stay above 60 FPS. Hello, Jack. How are you doing, buddy? By the way, for those of you that are fans of Jack, uh, you missed Jack in the thumbnail of the RX 570 video last week, just, just so you know. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Valhalla doesn't work, my friends, because this GPU does not support DirectX 12 natively, only through the drivers. So we'll have to settle for a good old Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We're gonna go over the settings, 720p, 100% resolution scale, 100% FOV, and we're actually playing with the medium settings, uh, because I recorded this on low and I was extremely surprised surprised with the 57 fps average that we got on low settings by the way i would include the low settings test but unfortunately i wasn't recording the screen so yeah here we are medium settings this time around it looks way better let me tell you there's grass now on low settings there isn't any grass and i think i'd take medium over low in this game it's a single player title it looks great and it's performing incredibly well i again i did not expect 47 fps average right now at medium settings after seeing 57 on average on low i kind of expected like what 35 no oh, come on what no <laughs> perfectly playable still again i would definitely choose to play on medium in this one with this card looking at the entire city from above it still drops into the 30s but it's not bad at all like it's high 30s so it's a very comfortable experience here with this gpu guys visually speaking it's very pretty still even at 720p and the good thing is you might actually have a 768p monitor or 900p monitor so uh, it's gonna look even better i'm running a 1440p monitor so it doesn't really look quite that good but still if you want to buy this game now that it's on sale i i actually recommend it if you have a 750 yeah, just make sure you have enough RAM and a decent CPU to go with it. If this game doesn't kill the GTX 750 Ti, I don't know what will, but let's go through the settings now. 720p resolution, 100% render scale, low settings or favorite performance settings. <laughs> Guys, we're getting 40 plus. 750ti man <laughs> it just doesn't die i remember playing this game with the 1030 and that gpu was getting sub 30 fps here at 720p so it was extremely rough for that card yet the 750ti is here doing absolutely fine i think the problem with the 1030 was the slower vram probably this one is a little bit faster and in general it's faster the 750ti of course but it's usually not that far off the 1030s performance by the way if you haven't checked my 710 video in horizon zero dawn you're missing out man i play that 72p <laughs> i wonder if it will drop from 30 fps yeah 35 there 40 god damn it i'm almost dead please don't kill me please don't kill me can i heal myself how do i heal myself all right there we go fire effects 33 minimum not bad if you lock it to 30 fps it's still playable okay can you all right more fire here yep doesn't seem to drop from 30 guys what is this what is this madness 
Okay. Okay. Oh, but all right. All right. How can you throw fire like that? I I don't understand. Can I get you? <laughs> oh boy. All right. I'm very low HP now, but. You know what? That's enough. We've seen that Horizon Zero Dawn is actually playable in this GPU. It's time for Apex Legends. We're playing it at 720p with the low settings, as you can see. Let's go. It's me and you, buddy. Mega power boss. I'm confident now. 30s. All right. It, it's it's good now. 80s. 80s is extremely nice. All right. Okay. So we're going to do this now. Let's start counting those frames. Very nice. We got a couple of decent weapons now. I just need a shield. And then we're going to go to the most demanding little spot in this entire map, which is right there. Here we go. Let's see. FPS are in the 100s, the average, because we went inside of there to loot. And it doesn't drop from 60. It is not dropping from... What if I throw a smoke? Can I make it drop from 60 here? Uh... 60? Are you kidding me? Wait a second. I, I gotta get back there. <laughs> right. Smoke effects. Most demanding little place. It doesn't drop, guys. I don't know. Maybe we saw 57 because of the 1% lows, but still. This is crazy. Never forget to ping your Mozambiques, guys. Is that what we're doing here? Just placing things? <laughs> alright, alright, we got this. Okay, well, maybe we need to go. Yeah, we need to get out of here, probably. That's a good thing. Got one. Is he dead? Another squad there? Okay, okay. Oh, come on. Not from there. Oh, come on, so close. God damn it, god damn it. I need to go. I need to move out of here. No, 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 no. I got ping as well. This is insane. This is so bad right now. Oh, legendary shields, of course. <laughs> well, we we had a good run there with the 750 Ti. 1% lows at 59. Averages above 100 FPS. All right, my friends, we're playing Fortnite right now at 1080p resolution, 1920 by 1080 using the low settings, 100% 3D resolution, DirectX 12. I chose DX12 in this one because DX11 also stutters a lot in this game, so I prefer to go with this API. Okay, we're going to the Whipping Woods because it's very demanding for our GPU to process all of the vegetation around us, and the 750 Ti is still doing a fantastic job, as you can see. It's not a high refresh rate experience as you, some of you might be after but it's still a completely playable one. Oh my gosh my internet sucks today what the hell okay fps inside of a bush do drop from 60 frames per second so that is quite a bit of a bummer there but you know what just don't go into bushes if you want to play at 1080p with a 750ti or maybe lower your resolution if that's a problem to you i think for 1080p low settings the 750ti is doing a great job it did much better of a job like a year ago for example when this game was optimized all right we arrived at salty springs it seems like in this Bush, uh, we don't drop from 60. Uh, well, never mind. <laughs> well, what? Did just did it just land there? The chopper? I, I I heard something. That's interesting. Oh, there's a guy right here. Okay, that's what happened. Um. Oh. Oh boy. All right. Get over here, my boy. Oh gosh, stutter there. Yep. Game's still broken. Oh no 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 no. Oh no. Our boy's down. Our boy's down. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, guys. This is it for Fortnite. <laughs> we managed to stay alive for a little bit, actually, so not not too mad about that. As soon as I encounter people, I just die. It's, it's just... This is my Fortnite experience every time. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 I'm doing this kind of... Nope, not really. <laughs> okay, 95 FPS average, 57, 1% lows, couple of stutters. We're now playing Rainbow Six Siege, 1080p resolution using the low settings with 100% render scaling. Okay, here we go, friends. I'm gonna start counting our frames and I'll put this down for my teammates. Hopefully they'll grab it. No? No copyrighted songs. Okay guys, so two of my teammates already died, that is pretty bad, uh, the other ones are nowhere to be seen, at least by the bomb sites, uh, but they're getting them, okay, not bad. 
Nice. Got one here. Good stuff. Got one. Got him. Got what? What am I saying? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. Got another one. We're doing this, boys. Guy's still up there. Maybe I can go there. There we go. We got this. Very nice. And we got 78 FPS average and 68 1% lows. Extremely consistent FPS. What? What are you doing? <laughs> what? Right, we're outside. Oh boy, 60 FPS there, my friends. It's probably gonna drop into the 50s, I don't know. Maybe give it a little bit of an overclock and it should be comfortably above 60 FPS at all times. We haven't really seen it drop though. Somebody didn't use their drones. Look at that. Oh boy, no wonder we didn't find a bomb. Oh, got one, nice. Got another one. Nice. Oh, oh boy. Only one left. We can do this. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he missed everything. Right, friends, let's get wrecked in Battlefield 5, shall we? We're playing at 1080p resolution. Everything's off right here. And low settings. Okay, okay. That is pretty decent for 1080p. Wow. All right. Now, Frostbite games are always very well optimized. Uh... Okay, got him. It still drops into the 40s and it has a couple of stutters there. At least at the beginning of the round, maybe things are still loading. I don't know. Okay, got another one. Oh, come on. I think the tank saw me. Yeah, okay, there we go. I think I saw somebody there. Oh, explosions there, 30s. Uh, all right, it's becoming a little bit tough for the 750 Ti, friends. Yeah, this game is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. Even at the low settings, it manages to look good. I just don't really like the anti-aliasing method in this one. Our team is just getting completely wrecked. Look at the objectives, guys. C is theirs, A is theirs, B is theirs, E is theirs, D is theirs. We we got F! We got F at least! <laughs> what? Oh, there's a sniper just camping there? Are you serious? Okay, that's a weird spot. Oh! Oh! No! That was a bad idea. I want to see the explosions! Nice! Oh boy, yeah. You can definitely feel the FPS dropping there with the explosion. Am I gonna die? No, okay. Oh, I hit one! I hit one, friends! And... Come on! Come on! No! It's mine! That one is mine! Oh gosh, I suck at this game so much. I told you I, I was gonna just die in this one. Yep, okay. There's one. Alright, got it. Oh, there's another one very close. Oh gosh, okay, where is he? Where is he? Oh, you bastard! And now we're playing some PUBG. We're playing it at 1080p resolution, very low settings, 100% resolution scale. Okay, it seems like we're not dropping alone. Okay, then, that is wonderful to know. All right, let's get inside, count the FPS. Here we go, we're doing this, friends. Oh, man, PUBG always feels so clunky to get back to after you play other games, you know? You know what? It's kind of performing all right, guys. 60... Plus FPS on average at 1080p very low is pretty good, especially compared to this game at release because it was like an optimization mess. But now it, it actually runs pretty well. I really feel like I'm just gonna die instantly in just a little bit, guys. But if I do, well, I want you to know that it's playable on the little GT, GTX 750 Ti. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, come on, come on, come on! No, 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 don't want to do this. No, let me go, let me go. Right, so that's my PUBG experience. I, I don't want to play this game anymore. I don't like it. Bad. <laughs> and because a lot of you always request Valorant, no matter the GPU I test, and because I think the 750Ti is very adequate for a game like this one, we're gonna play it right now. High settings, as you can see, some things are actually disabled because I don't like these effects right here. I'm not using any anti-aliasing as well. And we're playing at 1920 by 1080 resolution. Let's go. I think I got a little bit of ping. Yep, 
See the teleports? Hmm. Anyways, let's start counting our frames now that the game started and we're not warming up anymore. Okay, there we go. We got this. And well, this is why I don't... Oh my god. The... Oh, my internet. Anyways, Jesus, I can't play this game like this. It's way too hard because of the internet going all over the place. This is why I don't play Valorant with decent GPUs, because it gets 200 FPS on high settings at 1080p. You could literally play at 1440p using a 750Ti. Now, if you want these FPS, however, you will need a beefy CPU. Oh god, it's so bad! I can't do anything today! I'm still third place, though. Eh, not bad. I think you'll need something like a Ryzen 3 3100 if you want to achieve these frames because something more realistic like, uh, what, the 4th Gen i5 will not get these FPS, okay? It's, it just won't. It will get like 120, 140 maybe, which is still pretty damn good, of course, but it won't max out a 750 Ti. But as this is a GPU test, though... Um, it just makes sense to not bottleneck it, otherwise we'd be testing the CPU and now you know what the 750Ti is capable of in Valorant, which is like insane crazy amounts of FPS and you can actually run a 240Hz monitor with it. What the f- see that- I- <laughs> that's impossible! <laughs> Alright, my friends, we're playing Call of Duty Warzone 720p resolution using the lowest settings in the game, as you can see. Oh boy. Alright. So, yeah, 40 FPS in a first person shooter is not what you want. This is way more demanding than the new Call of Duty title, as you can tell. But of course, this is a big map, a huge map compared to Nuketown, and we are playing against like 150 people, so. It's, it's to be expected, I guess. It, this is the most intensive little spot because of the fire effects and the smoke. And we're getting 38 FPS minimum there. Not too bad. You could get used to it, but it's... It's just not ideal for a first-person shooter, of course. You really want to aim for 60-plus FPS in a game like Warzone, um, and you just can't at 720p or at decent resolutions, you know? Because if you drop it to 800 by 600 it will become a little bit more playable. But at that point, you can't really see anything, guys. It's just a, a complete visual mess. Okay, so we're here in a different town right now, still getting around the same 40 to 50 FPS most of the time. It's actually dropping quite a bit at times. Oh, okay, okay, this is bad now. Okay, we're fine. Oh, yes, nice, I got him, got him, got him. So it's still playable, you know, you can still play like this and have fun, I guess, but it's just not very enjoyable because you will feel those slowdowns. So my friends, can it run Crysis? Will this game finally kill the GTX 750 Ti? Probably not. 1080p resolution, low settings, and it seems like we're getting, what, around 50 FPS? That is pretty damn impressive coming from this GPU. Now, this game received a 14 gigabyte update last night, and uh, I'm actually recording this in the morning after the outro and stuff, but okay, that's okay. Uh, uh, it seems like the game is stuttering quite a bit now, guys, and it's more difficult for some reason. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, God. Alright, we're gonna start counting the FPS again. It doesn't stop stuttering now after the update for... Uh, I just... This game's completely broken. It crashed on me, like, twice uh, before I could finally hit record. And, um, yeah, it's just... Crisis Remastered, just go play the, the original game, it's a much better experience, it won't stutter, it will run smoothly, and you can actually have a decent gaming experience with that one, so just, just don't buy this game. At least they finally fixed the goddamn textures, because they were stuck to ultra. Crashing issues, stuttering issues, texture issues, graphical bugs, it's... I Crisis Remastered, my friends. It's finally conclusion time. Do I recommend the GeForce GTX 750Ti in late 2020 coming into 2021? I do recommend it for those of you that want to play esports titles, of course. I think for AAA stuff, well, it's kind of done at this point. There's that. If you can find one of these for 30 bucks, well, doesn't consume a lot of power. It's actually a pretty decent deal. 
and you can have fun with it, which is all that matters, of course. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very, very much for watching it. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already because I will do more videos like this one. As always, my friends, love you all. Bye-bye.